Hi, this is um, Sarah, the Stitchin' Mommy, and it is Arbitrary August Vlog Part 3. Today is Friday, August 17th, and I just finished filming the last chunk of Part 2, and this is the beginning of Part 3, so I'm going to draw what I will work on today. This will be my 17th project of Arbitrary August, because today is the 17th. I am working on a different whip every day. I'm drawing from my bowl. And once I've picked something, it's not going back in the bowl, so everything will be unique every single day. I have a lot of whips, <laughs> more than 31, so I wanted to make sure I had a unique project every single day, so no du no duplicates. The Love Letter. This one is a fun one. I have a good amount of progress on the top row of this one. This is a golden kite. I will um, go find this and show you where it's at right now. So this is my Love Letter. There are a few different um, patterns called the love letter on golden kite and this is the one I have I'm not exactly sure the artist's name um, but this is the one I have I have the full-size version there's also a smaller version but I liked the detail of the full-size version and I love her blue dress um, not there yet I'm still on the top row but I have entered the feathers of her hat which is fun so this is where I'm at right now this is on 25 count linen I believe and it is um, two over one half stitch this is this half of page four right here page four started like right about here so this is half of page four so I'll be working in I've got three pages finished and I'll be working over here which has some background some feather and some yellow hat so we'll see I'll probably just work on parked threads again because it seems to be a nice thing to do when there's only one day is just to work on what's already here so we shall see where this goes um, how much I'm able to do in, for today. Talk to you later. Hi, so now it's Saturday, um, August 18th, I think. <laughs> um, this is how far I got yesterday. I did a little bit up here in the background of that next column and only got some time in the evening. Um, so, But I, I'm pretty happy with that. I probably could have done a little bit more if I had had some time in the afternoon too. Um, and got most of the background done. Right around here is really thick confetti because it's w this fluffy edge of the feathers and it can be um, quite a lot of colors in order to make that you know that fluffy look which is worth it but it does take some time so it's not necessarily the thing I would want to do on if I only had one day on a project. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you is this is my Victorian Motto Sampler Shop collection I had been a little bit behind in um, bobbinating all of them and you'll notice most of these have like two each because these are all the ones that I got from the thread club so they came with 20 yard skeins. These skinny ones are from the Eliza Bell Cox pack so they're smaller. Most of them are five yards. Um, and I finally finished bobbinating everything. I remember thinking I could stop the thread club when I filled up one of these boxes and was kind of thinking I stopped a little bit before that goal because I can't have canceled my subscription now in, in lieu of a color and cotton subscription um, which hopefully I'll get this month I think is how that works but um, I still have a few more colors that are in the in my tapas ink circles tapestry so once I have all of the bobbins for my ink circles tapestry put away, um, I will pretty much have the box filled up. So I think I stopped it right about the right time. It was just because I was behind in bobbinating. I didn't actually know how much space it would take up. So I think I will keep those particular colors with my Ink Circles Tapestry for now because I don't want to run out of the colors before um, I'm done with that piece. And if I use them on something else, then I might accidentally run out and I wouldn't have any way to get another one because I think a lot of her especially the, the I think a lot of her things are actually in like single runs and once once they're gone they're gone so I'm happy with that and I'm I have another like mini floss box right now that holds my other brands of over dyed floss but I think I'll be upgrading to another big box so I can have like a column for general arts a column for weeks columns multiple columns for color and cotton um, because I'll be starting to collect a few of those, a few more of those. So that'll be fun. And I thought you would enjoy the pretty 
prettiness of that. Now, let's draw for today. See what today brings. I, I have so many more things, I'm not even sure what's left. <laughs> I feel like I've already worked on everything, but there's like, no, I know there's this and this and this. Woohoo! Heirloom Nativity Sampler. I was, I've been thinking the last few days I haven't had any of my sam band samplers show up yet. So I am very excited to see one of them. This is my um, Victoria Sampler pattern that's um, that I didn't quite get enough done on as much done on as I wanted when I pulled it out last, so maybe I'll get that little that little band finished this time. So let's go find that and show you what I'm talking about. So here is my heirloom nativity sampler by the Victoria Sampler, and this is a Christmassy one, as the name implies. I am up here in the top, and I remember last time I was I had got a lot of this um, vine finished, and then realized the color conversion I was using, the DMC conversion from the MPIs wasn't wasn't was I, what I was expecting and I decided I needed to change it. So I went back to the drawing board and spent a lot of time fussing with colors. I think I'm happy now, but now I need to go back and restitch it. So here is where I'm at now. I'm doing everything as I go, beads and all. Um, so these, this is all done up till this um, vine border so that would be wonderful if I could get that vine border done today and if I do I will go on I don't think there's anything else in between yeah if I do I'll go on to this scene and start working on the shepherds but my I would love to be able to get that vine border finished that would be very nice so I will talk to you later and see if I'm able to do that happy stitching hi so now it's Sunday morning um, August 19th and this is how far I got on my heirloom nativity sampler yesterday. Loved every minute of this. Um, I, I did get to finish this vi vine right here. And as you can see, I went down into the shepherd's scene and had so much fun. So <clears throat> this top lighter color of red, um, I ended up using a Victorian motto color for my Eliza Bell Cox pack that matched the DMC I had chosen so that was fun and then at the end I was using this doing this vine which is Gloriana Elizabethan green which is the same color as this one and it's a silk and so that color was also same single strand for all these trees these cute little limbs so I went ahead and started on those and then this tree the cross stitches were in amongst the branches a lot more so I was finishing up my string this string over here and then I went to the top of this tree and then stopped then I did the sable this is sable from general art all this brown and one strand of b5200 before adding the rest of this tree and um, just really really had a fun time with that um, I love the silk like it doesn't fray, so I was using like a super long string of uh, single strand and it just kept going forever. <laughs> Good to the last drop. So that was a lot of fun. I have already planned to bring this out again in September just because I've been really enjoying it. And September is a month, my birthday month, so I want to do something I really enjoy all month. <clears throat> so this was already going to get a few days. So now I've got a good start on this scene, so there's a good chance maybe I could finish that scene in September. So now let's see what I'll be drawing for today. Come on! <clears throat> they don't want to cooperate. Ooh, quick stitch iris. This is a restart. Um, that I started like five years ago maybe and then restarted um, just this past year I think and was doing it 25 count two over one full crosses and now I'm doing one over one full crosses it's the first only one I have one over one on 25 count because all the other things I've got on 25 count are half stitches so I actually really like it so let's go uh, show you where that's at right now so this is my Quick Stitch Iris by Heaven and Earth Designs. It's a 
A quick stitch often means it's either just small or cropped from something bigger. This one is cropped from a really big pattern. Can't remember which one it is. Um, but this is like the tiny little bottom corner of another big um, Josephine wall pattern. This is just the irises and it's been, um, I think it's probably blown up a little bit so there's more detail than there would have been in the main pattern if you had just cropped it. So this is where I'm at. Um, this is the fuzz from where I picked out my two over one and this is where I started one over one. And I was doing um, diagonals and I think yeah, I think I just decided to just do plain diagonals, not row by row diagonals. So one color, I'll just work the rest of the diagonal kind of thing and then park in the next diagonal. So that's how I had started this restart and that's how far I am right now. I'll come back tomorrow and let you know where I get to. Hi, so now it's Monday, August 20th and this is how far I got yesterday on my quick stitch iris. Um, I, I got a good chunk done in this column. Um, there's a little bit right here that's all new colors because that's the start of the first flower. And I didn't quite finish up over here. There were some, if the thread was long when I was done with that column, I went ahead and parked it. And if the thread was really short, I just finished it off in this other diagonal. So that's what I did yesterday. This weekend was pretty great for stitching time. So for the nativity sampler and for this one. So. That was really nice. Now let's see what we've got going for today. Seems like there's always a never-ending supply of these whips. <laughs> I think I have too many. What do you think? Ooh, tapestry. I was just thinking about this one. This is my new one. I just started last month um, by Ink Circles, my first Ink Circles uh, pattern. I'm doing it with Eliza Bell Cox, Victorian Motto, Sampler thread threads. <laughs> I will go get it and show you where it's at right now. So here is Ink Circles Tapestry. And this is my first Ink Circles piece because I tend to, I have, well, there's so many designers that I have not, not heard of before I joined the stitching community a couple years ago. And so as I find at least one pattern from a designer that I really like, I'll go ahead and try it just to see. So this is my favorite one of Ink Circles so far, so I thought I would try it. And I am doing this 28 count, one over one, itty bitty little stitches using um, Victorian Motto sample shop threads. And most of them are um, from the Eliza Bill Cox pack that she made. And a, a couple of them are, there's Old Salem that's not Old Salem Spell. Old Salem Spell is under here. And then this, I believe, is the Fisherman's Wharf. And those are two from the monthly monthly thread clubs. Um, but I have finished this center thing so far. And I'm, I'm thinking I might try, rather than continue in a circle because I stitch in hand, I might try heading this direction because I hold, I usually hold it on the left and stitch, you know, just anyways. So I'm going to head right so that this stuff will be touched uh, less often as I finish it. And then I'll go over here and then I'll work down. That's kind of my plan. So you could expect to see something in this direction today. I will be back tomorrow and show you what I've done. Hi, so now it is Tuesday, August 21st. And this is how far I got yesterday on Ink Circles Tapestry. I did these bits on each side and then moved over to do this big motif there. I was, while I was stitching this, I was doing, um, I was actually working on this piece and I was watching Ingeborg's A Stitch Too Far, her update video from two weeks ago because that's how far back I am on FlossTube. And she was calling these birds. There's four of them in a circle and I thought they were flowers. <laughs> so that was an interesting take on that that I hadn't seen before. So that was fun. Um, I really enjoyed that. I love this lighter blue. It really showed up really nicely. This is Old Salem Spell, and it's, I don't know if the threads are thinner than the other threads, but it seemed to have more show through, and it could just be that it's dark, but some of these other dark colors weren't quite so showy. I guess the browns were a little bit, but anyways, I thought that turned out pretty cute. 
Let's find out what we are working on today. Still a lot in here. Ah, my stocking. Moonlight skater stocking. Um, if you saw... I just worked on this um, at the end of July, for Christmas in July, and I'm going to crop it and not make it a stocking anymore. So let's go take a look at that and show you where I'm at. So this is my uh, Moonlight Skater Stocking by Dimensions. And I discovered when I was pulling it out for my whip parade like a year and a half ago that I really don't need a cross stitch stocking or a needlepoint stocking. This is needlepoint. But I love this uh, scene of the skaters and the lady with the pretty dress. So I'm cropping it, including I'll like stitch over this guy's head so it doesn't look like I'm cutting him off. But I'll crop this out and just make it into like a pillow or something. So here's where I'm at. I pulled this out for um, a couple days? I can't remember how much I gave to it in July. Um, two or three days in July. So I was working on all this yellow and peachy stuff. So we'll see how much more of this background I can get um, done because I would love to to just have this done <laughs> and finish it. So, and I also want to thank everybody for your comments on my floppy fabric for that I'm using for Empress Eugenie, that huge full coverage piece with all the fancy ladies in it. I went ahead and ordered a piece of 40 count vertle to do one over one half stitches because that will make the piece itself a lot smaller and I like 40 count, I have discovered. Um, hi, Kitty. Yeah. So I think, I think I will enjoy that piece more. And I've only done a little over a column. So it will be, it will be a good thing. So I'll let you know when I get that in. And I'll show you. But I discovered, uh-oh, Kitty, that I only need a fat quarter. Uh, one fat quarter will, ho will, will have my whole, don't step on this, please. I'm distracted, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, my whole piece, my new cropped version of that piece will fit on a um, on a fat quarter perfectly. So that's really fun. So in the meantime, I will be working on my skater stocking and trying not to let my cat destroy it. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Talk to you later. Hi, so it's now Wednesday, um, August 22nd. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> August 22nd. And this how, is just how far I got yesterday on my Moonlight Skater Stocking. I was a little distracted yesterday, so not necessarily a lot of progress, but I did finish this yellow um, through here and then started in on a, a yellow and peach blend that's coming down here, and it will also be in a lot of this too. But I did that over here. Um, and I discovered that this... I would like to make my pillow about six inches, which is about from here to here. So just out, it'll be just a little bit outside her dress and a little bit like right about here. So some of these will get cut off and that's fine. And then it'll be about like this tall. So that's perfect. I'll make a little six inch pillow. And once I kind of discover exactly what line I might make some marks, just so I remember, you know, how to, where I need to fill things in. So. I will look forward to working on this some more. I'll probably bring it out at least again in December, but there are a few projects that I would like to pull out in October, November, and December to try to get finished, and I think this is one of them. So um, along with my Christmas wreath and Snow Queen and some other things that I would really like to get done this year. So that's how far I got yesterday. And today is the one of two days in August where I will not be arbitrary. I am going to stitch on the Caterpillar Cross Stitch Adventure Awaits um, pattern because the first, the I mean the third clue came out today. Um, it was actually midnight um, this this morning UK time, so I could have had it last night, but I didn't check my email till this morning. Um, and they went from. Europe to Asia and now we're going down to Africa. So here's where mine is right now and we're going to be work I'm going to be working down here to make Africa. And she's got um pyramids and thatched huts and 
um, some trees. I forget what those ones are called. It's it's, it's eluding me. The African trees. <laughs> and there's like a little, um, like a safari jeep SUV thing too. So that there's um, Africa. And it looks like it might be a little bit quicker than some of these because some of the features are have a bigger blocks of color versus a bunch of little, you know, little fiddly areas. So I'm hoping that it'll go a little bit quicker um, just because I don't have as much time devoted to it this month. Um, I will see what I can get done today and then work on it as a travel piece once I finish August's block of the Storytime Sampler, um, which is coming along. So I will come back tomorrow and show you where I get on Adventure Awaits. Good morning. It is Thursday, August 23rd. I always forget the date. Sorry. Um, and this is how far I got yesterday on Adventure Awaits. Not a lot, but I got um, most of the border done for Africa. So they moved down to Africa, I think I mentioned yesterday. And these trees are um, acacia trees, I believe. And that's fresher in my mind than it probably should be because of Minecraft. <laughs> I play that occasionally and my kids play that occasionally and there's acacia trees in Minecraft in the deserty plains biomes. Anyways, I enjoyed working on this. It's really fun. Um, I don't know if the color is coming up, but this fabric is light blue, Ada, and it's really nice. So I'm I'm thinking it's probably a Zweigart fabric because it is. it does have a nice feel to it. Um, it's 16 count. I will be finishing up Storytime Sampler as my travel piece and then this will become my travel piece until I get the clue finished. And looking forward to doing that. Today I get to go back to being arbitrary, which is really exciting. I actually missed this. <laughs> so let's see what I get to work on today. Ah, Friends of the Library. I was afraid this one might come out at some point. This is another a uh, tap a uh, needlepoint piece that I have, and it's been ages and ages and ages and ages since I've gotten gotten it out, and I'm curious to see if it's similar to the ice skating stocking in how not structured the instructions are, because the instructions of the ice skating one there's just blobs of color, and you're more following the color that's stamped on the canvas, which is. A little bit frustrating for my you know show me the pattern and which X goes where kind of t temperament um, so I'm curious to see it's been too long since I've gotten this one out what that one's like so let's go take a look at that and see where it's at and if I want to keep going on it so this is friends of the library it is a needlepoint kit by Bucilla ancient and so I'm not sure if you can still get it or not it is the same way on the chart as my needlepoint stockings, so we will see um, how I like working on it. Don't have a lot done. This is the canvas, but all I have stitched is the book right here. Everything else is just the printed canvas. It's not stitched yet. So I have a lot to go. <laughs> I do still like the design in general. Um, I like books and I like cats, so I will give it a try today and see what I think. I'll either work on this kitty or maybe this green book I'm seeing through my viewfinder. I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll work on the book because color is fun. So um, we shall see. Maybe I'll put the spine in on this book first. This is like a red spine. And then the book. We'll see. We'll see what I decide to do today and whether or not I like working on this. Talk to you later. Good morning. It's now Friday, August 24th. And this is how far I got yesterday on my Friends of the, of the Library Needlepoint project. And I am pleased to say that I actually enjoyed working on this. <laughs> um, it was not as bad as I thought. I'll give you a little example. So, like, here is part of the chart of my stocking. You can see that everything is very fluid and loose and open to interpretation. And then you'll, I'll show you part of this chart where it's very blocky and it's still rounded and there's no grid, but there is definitely like sharp up and downs where you can figure out and count 
like there's two stitches here versus one right here. So I discovered that I can actually count this. Unfortunately, this book that I did however many years ago was not stitched properly. I think it was stitched closer to the canvas than the chart. So I'm going to have to fudge around the book, but the rest of it I'm enjoying counting. And so I finished the book. There were a few random colors in this book that weren't done yet. And then some of them, like there was this green that I, I went over here and did more of that. And this, this gray, I went over here and finished that string. And then there was a little bit of dark gray charcoal that I ended up continuing on. And there's a little bit more of that right here. And then I'll do black next time I pull this out and just kind of slowly work my way up. And I'm going to try to stay together. Um, and fill in the chunks as I go up so that I can figure out the counting because I don't want to stray too far and then have the counting be way off um, in case because because of the fudging that needs to happen you know on the edges here because the book was not according to the chart um, but it is a lot more enjoyable to work on than I thought and more enjoyable than the stocking for sure and I got a little nervous over here because the counting made it run off the edge of the um, print here by one stitch and that made me nervous so I spent a ridiculous amount of time counting and double checking and figuring out is this going to work and and then I, I realized I think it's just print the print is just off because when you get to the top that um, it's almost touching this next one over here anyways this next line so this will line up with the top it's just you know it's just shifted on the canvas so I'm gonna go ahead and just um, follow the chart because that's what I do and enjoy this and I will actually be happy to bring this out occasionally so because it is adorable <laughs> so I will um, be enjoying that at some point let's see where's my bowl got to get another project out for today let's see what today brings Ashley's Roses. This is a Mirabilia. Um, Dina from Half, Half Stitch Cross Stitch is working on this and she's like amazingly far along. I think, let's get that to focus. I think I'm only um, in the top area with all the flowers at the top. So I'll go find that and show you where I'm at with that. So here is Ashley's Roses by Mirabilia. And um, she's really pretty. Um, I like her coloring and her just the way everything's flowing in the breeze and these extra checks in her dress and everything. Um, I am up here in the top with these boughs of color. There's a little rose here. The colors really just pop. This is like cream linen 32 count and really enjoying this so far. Um, so I'll probably just keep working. I believe this chunk is done except for the border. So I'll probably just keep working over here somewhere in these flowers. And so I will come back. This is the 24th project of Arbitrary August. So this will be the last project for this part three of my vlog. And I will come back tomorrow and show you where I've been. And then I'll wrap this all up and post it for you. So talk to you tomorrow. Happy stitching. Hi, so now it is Saturday, August 25th. And this is how far I got on Ashley's Roses yesterday. Um, I finished these leaves in here and did some other of these green bits throughout here and as well as this peachy, some peachy orange color coral through there. So that's what I got done yesterday. Um, for some reason this one doesn't necessarily call to me um, when I'm thinking about which Mirabilia I should work on. Um, but when I'm working on it, it's really fun, and the colors are just really fun to work with. Um, rich teals and, and pinks and corals, and it's just really fun. So that's how far I got on that one, and I don't know when it will come back out again. This will be the end of my part three of my vlog, so I thought I would also share the um, progress I've made on my other projects throughout the week. This is my Storytime Sampler by the Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery, and this is how far I've gotten on The Phantom of the Opera for August. I finished the 
chandelier and did their hair and face or at least skin um, so now I still need to do their eyes and mouths and their clothes so it's getting there it'll probably be done before the end of the month and this is my heaven and earth designs 100 days of hate piece furry animals freebie that I'm working on and I'm working in this this dark red right now which is why there's a long straight line where I finished off uh, yesterday um, Still going strong, doing just a little bit every day. Some days I wish I could do more, but um, it's the secondary piece to all my other plans, so it's okay if it's just a little bit, and every little bit counts, and it is making making a difference and moving right along. So I think it's like day 53 or 4, um, 55, something like that, today. So I'm over halfway done with the challenge and I'm still still trucking <laughs> still trucking along yesterday I also got my first shipment of color and cotton threads of the month and I am very happy with these oh my goodness they are so pretty um, and they immediately made me think of my Nora Corbett S that I'm gonna start in the beginning of September for my birthday and I think some of these could really work well in here <laughs> What do you think? Um, I I went through yesterday and looked up all the gentle art threads that this calls for. No, not gentle arts. Um, crescent colors. This one actually calls for crescent colors, which is now I think classic color works, but the chart still says crescent colors, so it's an older chart, I guess. But the um, I pulled all the DMC conversions for those crescent colors, which some of them have multiple DMCs because it's like a it crosses enough color variation to be different colors. Um, so I pulled all the DMC, wrote it down. I didn't actually pull the colors, but what I will do to create my own conversion for this is I'll pull the DMCs and compare those to the fancy floss that I have. So I'll look at, I, d I did notice I had one or two crescent colors already from um, some threads that I'd been gifted. I think they're ones from Debbie Duarte, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there was a, one or two of them that she gave me that were are in this pattern. So they're like, whoa, I already have that one. So I don't need to convert those, but all the rest of them it will be Color and Cotton, Victorian Motto, General Art, um, Weeks, you know, whatever other ones that I have. So I'll just, I, I'll open up my boxes and kind of look through, see what matches the DMC conversion the best, and if nothing matches very well at all, I'll just use DMC. And I'm okay with that. So I pulled the DMC, wrote, I wrote down the DMCs for this one and for this one, because I'm gonna start this one um, at the end of September to start working on this for my niece. Because I told you a little while back, I'm gonna be doing one for each of my nieces when they graduate from high school. And this niece is my oldest niece. She um, just started her junior year. So she's got two more years. Of high school so I have two years to work on it <coughs> excuse me but I think I'm gonna do it like my kids pieces where I'll work on it one day every month um, until it's finished and when hers is finished even if there's still time before the next one I'll work on the next one on that girl's birthday every month until it's finished um, and then just rotate through them all that way and unless unless um, Unless I get backed up and behind and need to add more time to it, and then I will. But that's kind of my plan at this point going forward. So um, in the meantime, I hope you're enjoying Arbitrary August. I know I have been. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what I'm going to work on today, but I won't draw that until I start the next uh, part four of my vlog. I'll have one more part. And then I believe at the end of um, August... I'll probably do a, it'll probably be actually the beginning of September because I don't want to do it on the weekend. Um, but when Arbitrary August is over, I'm going to do a whip parade of all the whips that did not get pulled. Because this has kind of been like a slow motion whip parade as you've seen all my things get pulled and worked on. So whatever did not get pulled, I thought it would be fun to just complete the whip parade and show everything else um, that I have that started that did not get pulled so you can kind of finish out seeing what all I have going. 
in the nether regions of my craft closet. So, um, that's it for now. Oh yeah, one more thing. I decided to, to because my birthday is near Labor Day, I kind of have an affinity for Labor Day. In America, Labor Day is the first Monday of September and celebrates people that work and you get the day off. Um, so I, um, my mom had labor on Labor Day. I was born on Labor Day. <laughs> it does, it's not on my birthday every year um, because Labor Day is always the first Monday and obviously your date, um, birth date moves around on different days of the week. But, um, so I'm going to have an Etsy, a Labor Day sale in my Etsy shop, um, at least the August 20, August 30th through September 3rd, um, every, all the digital or most digital items and ready to ship items will be 10% off. Um, I'm not going to include personalized things or made to order things or, um, things like that, but all the, all the things that are just ready to go will be 10% off. Etsy says there's like a special um, preview sale on the 29th. I'm not sure who they're including in that. So at least the general sale is the 30th through the 3rd. So if you're interested in anything, that might be a good time to do it. Um, and I will leave you with that and see you again at the end of August. Happy stitching!